Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So, today, guys, I'll give you guys a quick match reaction to both games here. Let's start with the Tajikistan versus Jordan. It's me, AD744. So, for this game, man, this is always going to be an interesting match, you know, and um, I feel bad for Tajikistan. To lose out by an own goal, it was heartbreaking for Tajikistan. Very, very heartbreaking. I feel so bad. Jordan did, in my opinion, were the better team. You can see in the first half here, they were the much better team. They had more possession. They had more shots, more shots on target, big chances. And I, th I thought Yami Tebo was fantastic for um, Tajikistan. He was fantastic for drawing the game, uh, making those crucial saves. And the second half, man, Jordan finally did score. Uh, great, great uh, delivery there um, from the cross. And uh, obviously, I think uh, Hanu Ho puts it on the back of its net. So very, very unfortunate for, uh, what is it called, Tajikistan there. Tajikistan did have their chances. Like I think they had a really good save. Um, I think one of the uh, Jordan players did a really, uh, I think it was Ayi. He gave away a ball in a bad position. They almost scored from it, and Abdullah made a big save. So, yeah, for Jordan, man, this is a fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. For them to be in the first ever semifinals of history is unbelievable achievement. And they'll be playing the winner. They'll be playing South Korea in the semifinals. So, best of luck to them, of course. Both teams are already been in the group stage. So, um, yeah, for Tajikistan, like I said, man, like I said before, guys, with this team, they're a very solid team. They create a lot of chances, but they're just not clinical at all. You know, and that's my big concern with this Tajikistan team. So I think they can learn a lot from this Asian Cup, making it to the quarterfinals on the first ever tournament is an outstanding achievement. And let's see whether they go to the qualifiers. I think they they could do decently well in the qualifiers. And I think the um I think the main goal for them is just to be to try to see if they can build for the future because what they did in this uh, this group was fantastic. You know, getting past like to China and Lebanon, you know, beating um obviously UE on penalties and um losing to Jordan in a very close encounters so like i said man i feel bad for them and it's just it is what it is you know and so for jordan man fantastic job for them and like i said still still though i still don't like the jordan defense i think the jordan defense is still very sketchy and um we'll see how the defense does against a much better opposition in south korea because real south korea is way better than uh tajikistan moving on we got australia one south korea two this will be like quick match reactions by the way guys so this game man wow this was a very nervy end-to-end -end game. Let me just start with the first half, man. So you can see here that um, Jurgen Klinsmann has changed his tactics. He's not playing the 4-4-2 anymore. He's playing the 4-2-3-1. And you can see that South Korea actually looked a lot better. I think this was definitely a very a much better game from them. And um, yeah, and then that first half, man, South Korea were the much better. South Korea were the better team. They had their chances. Uh, they even scored a disallowed goal. Really, really nice combination there. And um, unfortunately, it was disallowed because I believe uh, one of the players was offside. Uh, then... Um, and then the second, and then and then they made a really calamitous mistake there at the back, really really ba big mistake there. And obviously Australia capitalized upon it and to make it one 0 Goodwin scored there, and um yeah it was just a an error there. Let me see if I can find the details because I don't really quite remember. Let me see if I can find the details right here. Yeah, forty first minute. Uh, Atkinson has the ball on the right side of the box. He lifts on the ball to the left side of the box. Where Goodson's waiting on the ball. He kicks the half volley into the bottom left. So yeah, uh, Craig Alexander Goodwin gets an assist there. Uh, not the assist, sorry, he gets a goal there. And yeah, I mean, South Korea, man, they had so much possession the first half. They had so much possession the first half, but they just couldn't generate any shots, any shots on target in particular. That was a bit disappointing. Second half, though, uh, uh, South Korea came alive. South Korea came alive in the second half. Australia did have their chances, though, in the second half in particular. Obviously, I think there was a huge, huge chance. I think Mitchell Duke missed. It was a great, great header there. He missed the target. He missed it. I believe, yeah, three shots. If I could, let me see if I can find right here. So, yeah, he missed the target completely. And uh, then, obviously, um, and then, obviously, the second half, um, let's see what other chances right here. I'm trying to see what other chances they had. Obviously, um, um, uh, let's see right here. Yeah, Mitchell, uh, Duke, I know, missed that big chance at, at the last few minutes of the game. That uh, was a huge, huge chance. Um, and then obviously, uh, let's see any other chance. They had some big chances the second half, man. I don't really quite remember off the top of my head. And I think Boyle also had a chance there as well. Irvine as well, I think, also had a chance. And then finally, South Korea draw a penalty. Son Heung-min does some really, really clever footwork. He beats past three players. Terrible uh, uh, giveaway. The, uh, a penalty was given at the end of the game. Uh, clumsy mistake there. And who gives? I think it was Miller. I think Miller came on and he gave away the penalty. I think Miller gave, came away, gave away the penalty there. And um and then up step, uh, Wang Gi Chan, which I thought was very interesting. Wang Gi Chan actually took the penalty and he converts his penalty to make it one all. 
Uh, then extra time, man. South Korea kept pushing for the win. Matthew Ryan made some big, big saves in the second half, at first half extra time. You know, Cho was also taking off, who I thought was abysmal. And South Korea really could have finished the game off there, man. They really could have finished. I think Son had a great 1v1 chance. Uh, then he scored the free kick, man. What a free kick that was for Son to score that and that kind of matter and that kind of position because up until this point, Son hasn't really come a clutch for South Korea, you would say. You know, and this was like his first real genuine. Uh, this is the first open play goal he scored since 2015 final. And of course, remember, you know, and then, this, and, you know, and then obviously next extra time, uh, terrible challenge made by Australia. Uh, O'Neill gets this uh, slides into, I think it was Wangi Chan, gets a straight red for that terrible challenge. And then obviously next extra time, uh, Son had a chance there. I think Wangi Chan had a chance there to finish it off, but it wasn't to be. And you could tell that Australia just gave up. They, they could tell that, okay, we're down at 10 men. We're just going to try to see out our defense, make sure we don't concede more goals because I think Australia knew the game was done. You know, South Korea had so much chance to the end to wrap things up. And, yeah, that's how it finished. So, yeah, for Australia, man, they should have buried those chances, man. I think Duke had a really good chance. Like I said, that header was a brilliant save by Cho. Cho made some big saves. And you have to give credit to Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan was fantastic. It's like extra time. He made a big, big two double saves, I believe. So, yeah, man, this was a great game to watch. And South Korea, man, like I said, man, this team isn't playing the best, but they're still finding a way to make it through. And that's what you do in these kind of tournaments, that, it's not about playing the best. It's about winning. And South Korea has a winning mentality, and they keep going the streak. As for Australia, they bow out against, again, once again, the quarterfinals like they did the last Asian Cup, but they lost the host UEE. And for South Korea, man, they make it to a semifinal. So they're playing against Jordan, a team they already played against group stage. And so, yeah, for South Korea, man, it's a great, great win for them. Obviously, Kim and Jay will be suspended for that uh, semifinal match, which is a big blow. But assuming they get past South uh, Jordan, he'll be available for the final. So that's maybe a good thing there so he could get some rest. Uh, but obviously, South Korea needs to beat Jordan now next. And so, shout out to Jurgen Klinsmann. Got his, um, once again, his tactics aren't the, the, really the best, but you can tell the South Korea players are doing their best. They're, they're just bailing him out, basically, at this point. Son is a difference maker, and that guy, man, he came up clutch. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for Graham Arnold, man, he did the best that he could with his team. But like I said, man, those chances, man, those chances he had, right, those chances that Australia had in the second half, man, they should have finished the game off. They should have finished the game off. And um, that's where they lost this game at, unfortunately. So, yeah, like I said right here, I'm trying to see if there's any other notable moments I have from here. Yeah, there's nothing else. I think that's really it. That Duke chance, man. That Duke chance, man. He puts it on target. It's a goal. It's a goal. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. Uh, very quick reaction, guys. Remember, guys, tomorrow um, at the uh, tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be doing a reaction to both the Asian Cup and Afcon's uh, quarterfinals. So, I hope to see you guys then. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys there, man. Peace out.